It's been 28 hours since former Cuyahoga County Commissioner Jimmy DeMora learned he will spend the next 28 years behind bars. Tonight we have new details about the place DeMora could soon call home. Good evening, I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Danita Harris. It's been called the crown jewel of the federal prison system. On your side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us with what he's found. Well, it's a federal prison near Durham, North Carolina, and we now know a lot more about why DeMora has asked to go there. He's asked to spend the next 28 years here at the Butner Federal Prison in North Carolina, where typical meals include skim milk, fresh fruit, vegetables, and margarine, no butter. It's a facility that's been described as looking more like a college campus than a prison. And it's also the largest medical and psychological complex in the entire federal prison system, designed for inmates with health problems. And his new friends may include convicted swindler Bernie Madoff, convicted of running a massive Ponzi scheme that built investors out of billions of dollars. John Regas, the former CEO of Adelphi Communications, who built his own company out of $3 billion, as well as this guy. Omar Abdel Rahman, known as the Blind Sheikh, the man behind the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. Just three of Butner's more famous residents. The prison houses more than 3,600 inmates who begin their day at 6 a.m. and are required to put in a seven and a half hour workday, usually in food service, groundskeeping, or at the commissary for about 12 to 40 cents an hour. And according to the inmate handbook, which we got our hands on, Mr. DeMora will receive medical and psychological screening when he arrives, and he's entitled to a whole host of medical benefits. So that is the possibility for him. Well, we know he requested that, but is it definite that he will it, end up there? It, it's not definite, definite, but, but his attorney requested it, the judge in the case recommended it. Ultimately, it's up to the Federal Bureau of Prisons to make that call. But right now, that's what it's looking like.